Hello everybody, today we are going to be doing a test on NHL 22. So, I did this test on NHL 20 and recently I made a video where we tested the awareness of a player, individual player, and we got the results and then it made me curious. I wanted to see if this was still possible. So, I went, created a bunch of players, still not a duplicate player option, so I had to make them all individually unless there is one and I missed it. Okay, if there is, very unfortunate because then I wasted my time, but... Yeah, this is all the players I made. They are 80 overall, okay? So we're going to have a full team of 80 overall players, and our goalies aren't going to be anything fancy either. So let's first of all see if this actually works, and then I'll kind of explain why it's working if you don't already know. So yeah, let's start up a new franchise here. I put them all on a team. I just randomly made a team called the Cincinnati Cubs. I'm pretty sure there's actually an MLB team that's the Cubs, but I could be wrong, and I don't think it's Cincinnati. So, uh, anyway, we're going to get in there and see if it still works. Um, I am going to substitute the team, so um, this is randomized like the fantasy drafts, except this time we're removing this team. Boom! We get Calgary. Sorry. Only one team in Alberta. We are removing a Canadian team for another American team. Custom teams, Cincinnati. There you go. Okay, and yeah, so you can see our top players, Joe NHL, didn't bother changing their name, so let's hop in with them, Not good. and as you can see, very interesting, 95 overall, so that is the very first observation here. So all the players on the team are 80 overall, but the team is 95 overall, so that makes me think it's going to work. Continue, and owner mode, no, we do not... Wants to worry about the salary cap. We'll just leave that off. Head coach, edit lines, no. Fog of War, nope. Player morale, nope. And CPUs can trade if they would really like to, but they don't stand a chance if this works, which it looks like it might. So I shall turn injuries off just for the sake of this. And I think it's advanced settings where I do a lot of the other stuff as well, like Blockbuster trade alerts. Uh, I'll leave those on just for this one in case. Stars only, stars only. Yeah, sure. Let me know if a coach gets fired. And, so yeah, that's probably about it. I think that's all we have to do. Most important thing is injuries. The rest are just for simulation speed. <laughs> so, we're trying to avoid pop-ups by all means necessary. So, the Cincinnati Cubs with the Stockton Heat as their AHL team. I mean, I guess it's not that weird. But, let's put these lines together. Bunch of Joe NHLs. Actually, let me first and foremost... Uh, no, don't even think about it. Jabroni. Let's sim up to the regular season first. That was really glitchy. I thought it was going to end up going into edit lines. I'll have to go back and do the whole thing again. But no, it actually went to it. All right, so there's three pop-ups. One and two. And did I miss one? Or did they remove one? There's no way they removed one. I was just simming and I just grabbed the string of my hoodie by accident when I went to scratch my face. Delightful. Let's edit the lines <laughs> moving forward. Yep, and head coach preferred lines. Oh, oh yeah. All right, we actually, hey. Okay, well, that's not good, but we can try to minimize that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll take zeros, that's fine. And in net, we've got Neuwirth and Dubnik. So two goalies that are currently free agents or yeah, on the free agent roster for this game. And we got, there's our defense, there's our offense, all 80 overall. Will it work? Let's find out. Scrolling all the way to the bottom here. Let's simulate up till there and see if we win some hockey games. All right, so the Ducks are going to be an L. Detroit is a W. Washington's a W. Okay, 3-2-1. and one. That's all right. 4-2-1. and one. Nice. Big win over Philly there to start pulling away. Love to see it. Dallas going to... Cut us down a little bit there, but we are definitely en route to a successful season. Not quite as successful as NHL 20, where I, I believe we got 148 points that season. I don't think we're going to top that, but I think that we might get pretty close here. Especially if we keep this up. This pace is looking good. Two L's in a row. Uh, three L's in a row. That is simply not acceptable. Cincinnati... What is up with all that? Chicago W, Nashville W, Leafs W, 22, 8 and 1, 23, 11-3 victory over Columbus, that poor team. 
What about you, Oilers? Ah, oh, they got the better of us. Seattle again, 5-2 win. Beat the Jets. So, um, I think, long story short, I don't want to jump the gun here and we just have an absolute <laughs> blunder for the next part of the season, but I think it's working. So on that note, it is safe to say that that stat is, in fact, still broken. To some degree. To some degree. Because the individual player that we simulated kind of proved that it is important to an extent when you go crazy all the way down. Or maybe it's just the players are surrounded with. I don't know. There could be other experiments we could try. But yeah, President's Trophy looking not only plausible, looking likely at this rate. In fact, yeah, we're going to win it. I'm just stating that right now. Let's go. Let's keep the trading block. Nah, just for the sake of it. Let's jump in, see who's available. How are these CPUs panicking for the Cincinnati Cubs? It's pretty much just standard players. Minnesota Wild and Dallas trying to get rid of a lot of players. Okay, let's exit the deadline and head back to our President's Trophy winning Cincinnati Cubs. Uh, Mojo. Nah, I'm okay. Thank you. I got Joe NHL times 20. So, uh, times... Is it 20? I think it's 18 and then two goalies. So, never mind. All right. Let's continue on here. Continue fourth. We are first in the division by a very convincing amount. And we have only five games now left of the regular season. Two this week, three the next. And are we going to get 60 Ws? It's looking like it's possible and we get 61 as a matter of fact. So let's stop the simulation. And I don't even know if I've explained it fully yet. So some people are probably watching this like what on earth is happening? So allow me to explain. Edit lines, they are all still 80 overall, haven't budged. So basically, the offensive and defensive awareness stats affect overall so much that I simply drop both of them to 54, but can have every other stat at 99. And the player is 80 overall, but apparently the whole team is 95 overall, or whatever it was. So something is wrong, <laughs> basically. That's not right. But I mean... Just kind of showing you guys what's going on here. And it's not like I went crazy with the X-Factors or anything. I made it, you know, reasonably realistic. I gave the top people... Oh my, he's on the bottom pair! There he is, yeah, but... I overloaded some people, but for the most part, I did not go overkill. There's a lot of players without any X-Factor slash abilities. So, that's that. And... Let's do the playoffs, shall we? Actually, you know what? No. Let's have a look at these stats first. Here we go. Cincinnati Cubs. Did we win the President's Trophy? I, I'm confidently going to say yes. Yeah. Colorado with 109. So they were 20... No, sorry. 14 points off. Right there. They were right there. So close. Could have had it. But didn't quite get it done. So the Cincinnati Cubs dominated. 75 point percentage. Can't complain with that. Goals four per game. Absolutely dummied. Uh, goals against per game. We... Did have the best. Yeah, the Flyers did quite well as well, though. Good for them. Same with the Golden Knights. Bruins not much worse. Yeah, all right. We didn't really dominate that category, but definitely did all right. Power play percentage. Did we have the highest by 15? Well, I guess 15.1%. And penalty kill. Not very good on the PK. Yeah, we sort of struggled on the PK. Anyway, at home. Oh, that's New Jersey. I was going to say that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, we don't need to see that. That's all irrelevant. But let's see if we win the Stanley Cup, shall we? With this Joe NHL. He only put up 82 points. What are you doing, Joseph? We got other Joe with 78. Other Joe with 74. <laughs> it's a bunch of Joes. I could have changed their name, but honestly, I was just too lazy. And I didn't know if this was going to work or not. I had no idea. And it turns out it does. Here's our goalies. Neuverth at 80 overall goes 50, 15, and 1 with 8 shutouts, a 905, 244. Dubnik at 79 overall goes 10 4 and 2 with a shutout a 902 261. Pretty solid year. And I honestly am doubting, well, I'm going to say it's very likely we didn't win the Art Ross with 82 points, but we can have a look. Yeah, not even close. ADB, settle down, 108. Nate Mack, 105. We're not even on the front page, not even close to it. But the team still gelled. There you go. Attaboy, Joey. Okay, playoff time. Predictions. Do we win? 
Honestly, maybe. <laughs> I want to say yes, but the playoffs are always like a whole different world. Here we go. Golden Knights. We are... Oh. Oh, my word. It's going to Game 7. I thought we were actually going to lose. I thought we were going to lose. I wouldn't have even been that shocked. Oh, there we go. The Ducks put us out. <laughs> so we can't win the Stanley Cup, unfortunately. Washington Capitals go on to do that. But we did dominate the season with... A team full of 80 overall players. Joe NHL putting up 15 points in 12 games. So yeah, that's that's that experiment. I was curious, as I mentioned, to see if it still works. And I mean, it does to an extent. President's Trophy, we know that. Just go through all these quick. James Norris, attaboy. Joey. And is that the only trophy we won? Yes, it is. Well, there you have it. I'll go to the playoff tree. But that's just something I wanted to make a video of. I thought it's interesting. I have a feeling that... Some of you guys will find this very interesting as well. And that's about it. Took a while to create those players. I mean, not super long, but it is very tedious having to go in and create them all. So I'm trying to think of other ideas that I could do with them while they're still there. Like before I delete them, is there other sort of topics I could cover with a full team of custom players? And I have a few ideas. So yeah, that will be coming out in the future. But on that note, guys... I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.